Hi everybody, this is Miro and welcome to the 10th part of my series about ASP.NET Core 2. In this part, we will take a look at the repository pattern and implement repository interfaces. So let's start. What is a repository pattern? The simplified explanation can be Repository pattern is structural pattern which separates your domain logic from data access logic. Now let's compare these two scenarios, our application with and without a repository pattern. I have a very simplified example. Let's say a request is coming to our hosting service, which is currently IIS. We will process this service within a controller and then the user want to see the list of all customers. I will send the request to Entity Framework and Entity Framework will query the data bank. The controller will receive the data and send a response back. In the solution with repository pattern, the controller has no reference to the Entity Framework because the whole data layer is behind an abstraction. Let's take a look on another example. And there are five controllers. Let's say each of them needs a reference to the data access layer of your application. And after some time, you need to change something within this layer. You have to update every reference within your application. Now it's only five, but let's imagine that you have 15 controllers and each of them has five references. Now you have to update up to 75 references because of single change in your data access layer. If you choose the repository pattern from the start, you can reference the controllers to the repository and the repository to the data access layer. And now it doesn't matter if you have five controllers, 15 or even 100. If you want to change the data access layer, you have to change only within the repository implementation. For example, in the production, you want to use Entity Framework and Microsoft SQL Server. And for development and unit test, you want to use MOCs. Your application code will not be affected in any way. So let's check the benefit summary. Repository decouples your application from data access layer. You have a single place to make changes to your data access. It's easy to replace a repository with a fake implementation for testing. So you don't need to have a database available for your unit tests. You don't have to write the same logic in multiple controllers because it's implemented only once in your repository. Now let's take a look on simplified class diagram. We will need a generic IR repository interface and a specific interface. This will help us to reduce the amount of code. Then there is the implementation. I will create one generic implementation for the generic interface and every specific interface will need one new implementation. I will reference only the specific interface in our application. Therefore, the domain logic will never know what is the specific implementation. And that's all for the theory. Let's implement our repository interfaces. So let's switch back to the Visual Studio. Create new folder within data folder. Add folder and name it interfaces and create new class within this folder new item search for interface and name it i repository hit add button now make it public and then generic and generic constraint. So I will need seven methods for my repository. I will just copy paste it to speed this up. And there are they. So we will need get all to get all elements within the table. Find with predicate where you can filter and find one object based on the object properties. We will search by ID. So I created one method for this. You will need create, update, delete, and count. So I will save this and click on interfaces. And now I will use shortcut Control Shift A to create new class and name it book repository and hit OK. And here we are going to need three methods: get all books with preloaded authors, find the book with preloaded author and find with preloaded author and the borrower. Now let's create customer repository, control shift A, interface and I customer.
make it public and leave it empty. Save. And now the last one, the auto repository. Control Shift A. Or repository. And hit add button. Make it public. And we will need two methods. Get all authors with their books and get one author with his books. So we are missing a reference to the author class. And there is it. Save and our repositories interfaces are done. And this will be everything for now. In the next part, we will create implementation for each of these repositories. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And see you in the next part.